Ronnie here from Early Bird Farms SC and today we're planting some trees that we got. If you remember last week we did a video where we were talking about a Fuyu tree and some uh, blackberry bushes that we got from Matt at Dean Family Acres. Well in that video we also talked about going to Asheville to pick up some more trees. In this haul we got um, we got four Kara Hardy pecan trees, we got two Euro persimmon trees, we got one pink lady, we also got some muscadine vines and some blueberry bushes. Today what we're going to do, we're going to plant these four pecan trees. We're planting them right here where we had um, our six or seven Dunstan chestnuts that's coming down our wood line. These get sun all day long until late afternoon, so these should do very good here. And this will also create a separation between the wood line, our road, and then our pasture. And that's why we're planting them here. After we plant these pecan trees, we're going to go down to our orchard and plant our Jiro persimmon tree and our pink lady apple tree and then after that it's, it's possible that it will be dark by that time and what we plan on doing at that time is using some one gallon pots and some peat moss and some potting soil potting up our blueberry bushes and our muscadine vines also the one gyro persimmon tree that we have that we're not planting in our orchard is going to our cousin you remember we mentioned that last week that we bought him a Fuyu persimmon tree. So he has two and I have two. Those are going to him. We got a lot to do. Short amount of time. We're losing daylight. So we got to get on this. Let's get to it. So how I plan on doing this today, I got my measuring wheel. I'm going to space these out. I'm going to continue with my 30 foot spacing like I have on my Dunstan chestnut trees. We're going to continue down this line. I'm going to roll down to here. When I get 30 feet, I'm going to spray paint a line. Move 30 feet, spray paint. Move 30 feet, spray paint until I get four dots. I'm going to come with the tractor. I got the auger on the back. Betsy's going to do the digging for me today so we can get this done quick. We got these pecan trees. They're bare root. They have a long tap root. I also want to mention that these bare root trees have been soaking for 24 hours in a bucket of water so they should be hydrated when we go to stick them in the hole we got some compost as you see in that five gallon bucket right there from our compost pile we're going to mix in with that that's how we plan on doing these pecan trees once we get them put in the ground we'll put a tube on them we'll put a stake on them and then hope for the best we planted some up front last year that area does not drain very well and i think those trees just didn't have the best success also, I didn't soak them 24 hours before I got them, which was a mistake on my part. Hopefully, we'll get these off on the right start. Let's get to it. All right, guys, we just finished planting our four Kara Hardy pecan trees. We didn't, it didn't take much time to do that at all. If you got the right equipment and you plant it out and you can measure it all out and kind of do everything at one time, it kind of goes pretty fast. Now we're going to switch gears, head over here to our orchard. We're going to plant this pink lady and this uh, gyro, gyro, however you say it, this Japanese persimmon tree. Remember, we already planted a Fuyu persimmon tree over here in our orchard, so this is a different variety, but it's kind of similar to a Fuyu. It looks the same. It's non-astringent, which means that you can eat it before it's completely ripe and it won't turn your mouth inside out. It don't have that mouth puckering uh, sensation to it. So I'm pretty happy with how these turned out. We're not looking down the line, so I did this on purpose so you could kind of see, see them. The last... Uh, four that I actually put in though I started bumping them a little bit closer to the road um, I don't have a string pulled on these I'm just doing this by eye and once the tubes come off and the trees are there I don't think they'll be quite as uh, noticeable as the tubes are the tubes without them being perfect you kind of notice them a little bit but I mainly just wanted to go down the edge of this road these are gonna look pretty when they get real tall and have a big bushy canopy so I'm happy with that. Let's go over here.
All right, guys, so I completed planting the two trees. I planted, I actually planted them. I wasn't paying attention, and I planted a persimmon. The first one that I planted was a persimmon, and the second one I planted was the apple tree. So I got to remember that. It's really important for me to remember what these trees are, and I'm getting so many that I'm forgetting, and I keep, I keep trying to tell myself that I need to sit down and write of, a, you know, write a, like draw a diagram out of where everything's at before I totally forget everything. Cause I know where about 90% of it is. These last two apple trees that I planted last year, one of them's a wine sap and one of them's a Yates and I can't remember which is which. So those has got me a little confused. And then I got some other things that, most everything else I know, the two pear trees I think are still labeled. Most of the stuff has still got labels. I think I've decided that I'm gonna move these two pawpaw trees, the two that I transplanted from my friend's house in Catawba, South Carolina, that I dug up and moved here. They just, I mean, I've been messing with them for three years and they just really ain't doing much. I'm gonna move them down probably down here somewhere, maybe next, maybe next fall. That way I, I planted them first and don't have them in line and it kind of drives me crazy that those are not in line. Everything else is in line but those two trees. And so one tree I'll dig up and I won't put nothing in its place. The other tree up here I'll dig up and then I'll plant something, but I'll slide it this way about three foot so it'll get in line with the rest of them. I'm not sure what I'll plant there yet, but something to go there. Well, I'm gonna go up here and start messing with potting up these blueberries and these muscadines. So we'll see you up there.
All right, guys, I got all of them potted up. I got them watered in, and I'm just leaving them on the table because this thing got dark on me. I'll move them over there in our little growing area tomorrow. And the reason why I keep them in that growing area because it's shady, and then I put a sprinkler on there that has a timer on it, and it comes on twice a day. That way, as we get into warmer months, the plants that I have out there and the trees that I have out there will not dry up and die on me. All right, guys, thank y'all for watching. If you hadn't done it yet, hit that little subscribe button that's going to pop up. Also, there's going to be a video that pops up right here on Bentley's face, and there's going to be one that pops up right here. Check out one of those videos. I think it'll be something that you'll like. We'll see you next time on Early Birds Farm SC, where the SC stands for South Carolina.